Welcome to Vlogtober episode number 10. Today we are going to do some more baking because tomorrow uh, Sonny's and my partner managers from our YouTube network are coming to visit to have our, I wouldn't say annual meeting because we have about two ish two to three meetings per year but i thought i would bake a little bit to have some fika tomorrow so today i am going to be following a recipe from my kitchen stories now you should follow her on instagram i have baked a few of her re recipes and they're just like oh. she writes in swedish but her videos and photos of what she bakes is universal so you can follow her even though you don't speak Swedish. Set the oven to 200 degrees Celsius and the ingredients that we are going to need are some butter, three eggs, some vanilla powder, some brown sugar, some... Uh, it said kesella in the recipe but our store didn't have that for some reason. They only had raspberry and like natural, neutral, whatever flavor and not vanilla. So I had to get kvadi. I think it's basically the same thing. Every time I use kvadi in a recipe, there are like 100 people in the comments saying kvadi is cottage cheese! It's really not. This is kind of like yogurt. It's called quark in English. This is not cheese. <laughs> I'm not using cheese in my recipe. So kvadi is not cottage cheese. Now we have cleared that up. We also need some creme fraiche. Don't know if that's the name in English, but whatever, uh, some baking soda, some sugar, some chocolate chips, and some flour. And I haven't even said what we're baking today. We're baking chocolate chip vanilla squares. <laughs> so it's gonna be like soft chocolate chip cookies with an extra layer of vanilla stuff. We're gonna need two bowls, one for the vanilla filling and one for the cookie. Mix the flour, baking soda, and vanilla powder in a bowl four and a half deciliters of flour and add how much vanilla sugar we've got two teaspoons one two and that was a tablespoon but vanilla sugar is tasty so not a problem <laughs> now one teaspoon baking soda. You do not want to take one tablespoon of that. One teaspoon baking soda. Oh god, I'm gonna need another bowl. So mix this together, mixy 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 mix. Um, so I guess we'll use this bowl for the eggs and stuff. Hey baby, I'm working right now sweetest. Okay. Butter, sugar, and brown sugar. 200 grams of butter. I am not prepared well at all. So we got 100, 200. Ooh. Half a deciliter of sugar. 1.75 of brown sugar. One. So you whisk this together so it becomes fluffy somehow and then you add the egg and you whisk a little bit more. Uh, I don't have an outlet by the table here so I need to go over to the bench and whisk away. Once you have whisked everything together it's time to add the flour mixture that we made earlier and um, whisk it together so it becomes a smooth dough. Ooh. Here we have our cookie dough. And now it is time to add the chocolate chips. This is a little bit less than the recipe like says that you're supposed to have. But these come in 150 gram bags and you're supposed to have 200 grams and I didn't want to buy two bags just for 50 grams. So this will be enough. It also said to save some for the like topping of the whole giant cookie. Now just mix it all around, get it as evenly distributed as possible. So there, time for the vanilla filling. So you just mix everything. We mix the eggs with two deciliters of creme fresh or two and a half deciliters. I do 
not like when baking becomes this messy. And then two deciliters of the Kvari. Yeah, and two. <laughs> and one and a half deciliters of sugar. And then just mix this all together, I guess. Last time I used this tool, people were like, why are you mixing the dough with a pasta thing? This is not a pasta thing, this is a whisk. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out, but I have faith in the recipe. All mixed. Now we are going to take a oven form, put some paper in it and then put two thirds of the dough in here and then kind of squish it out uh, on the entire the bottom of the paper. I guess I should do it with my hands instead. Now it looks like this. We have a big cookie in the bottom. Now it says to pour the, the vanilla uh, gooiness on top and then you take the rest of the dough and crumble it on top of the vanilla stuff. Here we go. Oopsie. I'm scared. Okay, let's take the rest of the dough and crumble it on top. It's not very crumbly to be honest, but uh... so this is what my big uh, cookie pie looks like before it goes into the oven. Yummy! It says that you're supposed to. Uh, bake it in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes until it gets a golden brown look to it. Oh, I forgot one thing. Oh! I forgot to add the extra chocolate. There. And once it has baked for 30 to 40 minutes, you need to take it out and let it cool off in the fridge until it's completely cool and then you can start cutting up the squares because if you cut it when it's still warm it's just going to become a gooey mess. So I see you guys when I take it out of the oven and then we have to wait a little bit longer before we can see the final result. So here's what it looks like. When you shake it, it's kind of gooey, but when I put a little fork in there, it came out completely clean, so I think it's done. Hey! Now I'm just gonna let this cool off and then put it into the fridge. Don't want to put it into the fridge when it's this hot, but I think it looks pretty nice. It's going to be a really like thick cookie. So I'm gonna have to chop it into really like small pieces so it's not too, too much. Yum. Oops. <laughs> so it still has some stiffening to do, but I want to taste it anyway. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Mm. This is almost like oven pancake with, with chocolate in it. <laughs> oven pancake? Yeah. It's many e years later. <laughs> It's many hours later now, and I have let the cookie cake just stiffen up uh, in the fridge for the past few hours. And it's a little bit easier to split up now, but it's still, it doesn't look beautiful. 
the squares are not like perfectly square because it's really like soft and it's difficult to chop up. What are you doing? This is what they look like now. Little squares. I think they're super tasty and you definitely don't need a lot because they're really thick. So you can't eat more than just a little. I'm sure it would taste great with ice cream as well or just as is. And I hope our guests tomorrow will enjoy. Um, and that's all for today's vlog. A baking vlog. I hope you have enjoyed it. A lot of you requested more baking related content in Vlogtober and here you have it. Don't forget to check out my World Wildlife Fund fundraiser. It's linked in the description below and I will see you guys again tomorrow. Have a good day until then. Goodbye!